all over the world we see people coming. And we're talking about so many thousands and thousands of people from countries with links to terrorism pouring across our border. No vetting at all. But now even Democrats are voicing some concerns about the border, including former Democrat, well, now independent, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., running for president. Uh, we've had on the program before. Sir, welcome back. Uh, thanks for having me, Sean. You know, I, I really do appreciate your position on the border. I really, you and I are in agreement. You know, it's interesting because everybody's now trying to analyze, you know, whether if there's a three-way race with you, Donald Trump, and, and Joe Biden, you know, who would you more likely draw from? So I, I hope you don't mind, but I did a little research on you. You're pretty liberal. You, you know, you've called for curbing, logging, oil drilling, uh, fracking. You wanted to eliminate it. You called it a victory for democracy. You want to curb U.S. fossil fuel extraction. Keep it in the ground, you once tweeted. You want to ban on fossil fuel extraction, a ban on fracking. You called the NRA once a terror group. You've supported over the years Democrats, Gore, Kerry, Obama, Hillary. You praised Bernie Sanders multiple times. You support affirmative action. So why is this party of yours, why didn't they even want to allow you to compete? Because that's as pretty liberal of a record as anybody I know. <laughs> you have a litany of talking points from uh, statements I've made over 40 years. Uh, some of them are stale. Uh, some of them I never said. Um, but, you know, what is your question? Why the Democratic Party? Why I'm not running in the Democratic Party? Uh, you know, well, why, I, why did they I, kick I, you I out? Feel like, <laughs> I mean, I, I, um, by the way, I'm, I'm think, giving you comments that you've made in 2016, 17, 19 uh, endorsements. We know the years Gore, Kerry, Obama, Hillary, Bernie Sanders. They're all recent quotes. The NRA quote you made about calling them a terror group was 2018. So these are these are recent positions you've had that I'm not sure why the Democratic Party wouldn't allow you what to do compete. You, do you want to, do, do you want to uh, talk about my position, Sean? Yes, sir. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. want to read talking points from the Trump campaign? Well, excuse me. I, these are know, not talking think, points. These are called Hannity points. I do my own research. No, but I saw that same list published this morning by the Trump campaign. It's the exact same list. Um, and, and again, if you want to know what my position is on, on any issue, I'm happy to talk to you about it. On those positions, you come off, and I'm not, a, this is not an insulting thing. You are historically very left of center, very liberal, and I agree with you. Your party treated you horribly. I think you deserve better. I don't like the way your own family even treated you. I thought, you know, if they don't agree with you, they can disagree. But I didn't like what they said about you. To be honest, I think you're being honest in your positions, but I don't think you can convince any conservative that you have any conservative leanings except for a couple of issues. Maybe some conservatives would agree on the border. Maybe some would agree on your vaccine policy, especially with COVID. Uh, where else would you say you're conservative? Well, I wouldn't describe myself at this point as part of the conservative uh, ideology or the democratic ideology. I would describe myself as part of the common sense ideology. If you ask me, Sean, about any particular issue, I'm happy to tell you what I feel about it. And I also am happy to listen to other people's opinions about it. All right, I'll ask you. Do you to, still... You know, to, do... uh, uh, do you still believe the NRA is a terror group? I support the Second Amendment like I do all the amendments of the Constitution, and I'm not going to take people's I didn't ask you if you support the Second Amendment. You called in 2018. You said, Parkland students are right. The NRA is a terror group. Do you believe that? Uh, I don't consider the NRA a terror group. Do you regret tweeting that in 2018? Well, I don't recall tweeting it in 2018, but if I did, uh, as I said, Sean, I don't consider them a terror group, and I support the Second Amendment. Do you regret endorsing Al Gore, John Kerry, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and Bernie Sanders over the years? Uh, I 
don't recall endorsing Bernie Sanders. I like Bernie Sanders. I, I, I voted for Barack Obama. Um, I, I don't regret that. I, I don't. There's a lot of things about, uh, about those candidates, the candidates who won, that I was disappointed in. I think that, you know, we need to wind down the war machine abroad. And uh, I don't think, and I supported Hillary, and I, uh, I, I don't think that uh, as Secretary of State that she, uh, she lived up to those expectations. So, uh, but I'm not going to say that I didn't, I, you know, I supported the men, I supported what they believe in. I, I, I think I'm a, I have a common sense approach to politics. And I'm happy, as I said, to talk to you about any of the issues. No, listen, I'd love to do another town hall with you. I actually enjoyed our time together. Um, do you stand by your position that you've held at least since 2012 and through 2019 that I have quotes for, uh, banning fracking and banning oil and fossil fuel extraction? I don't... I don't... I've never believed in banning oil or banning fossil fuel extraction. What I've said is that those industries need to internalize their costs. In other words, it's that carbon is the most heavily subsidized energy source. There's $5.2 trillion of subsidies that go to big carbon every year, and that doesn't include even the oil wars that in a in a real free market economy the cost of those wars would be reflected in the price of gasoline when you got to the tank the reason that i oppose fracking is because it is it's it's poisoning water supplies i've watched the water supply in dimmick pennsylvania where people turned on their faucets on and they could light a match there we don't want to poison people and if fracking's doing that then uh you know, it's they, the lifeblood of the world's economy. Those people for the cause of it. And, and we don't have any real alternatives that are efficient and cost effective as of now. Uh, we'd love to have oh, you back. That, and, is, that absolutely anyway. is not true. That just is not true. Of course it's true. I'm, that's not true. And I'm happy, I'm happy to talk to you about it if you can. All right, me a well, I'll tell you to what, we'll bring you back. Time, and we'll, I'd love to, we'll, we, maybe we'll do another hour together if you're up for it. I'd be up for to doing that. That'd be great. Uh, anyway, Robert F. Kennedy, I'm sorry the Democratic Party treated you the way they did. When we